Countrynex, whose corporate headquarters are in Givisia near Freiburg, Switzerland, was founded in 1972 by the engineer Peter Heimlicher. From a one-man operation, this active entrepreneur and pioneer has built a business with more than 500 employees. Today, Countrynex is the world market leader in miniature sensor technology. Important customer sectors include the engineering industry, automotive manufacturing, robotics and aviation. Due to their excellent reliability, Countrynex sensors are also to be found in many wind power installations. The company is a leading manufacturer of inductive and photoelectric sensors, as well as safety and RFID systems. Sensors from the Swiss high-tech company are used in rough, hot or cold environments and wherever space is tight and pressure is high. The trend towards a networked, constantly communicating world was recognized early by Peter Heimlicher with the development of intelligence sensors. Tiny chips known as ASICs have been created in-house to turn sensors into digital devices that not only measure but also receive information from the controller and send it back. To ensure that this technological lead can be sustained, Countrynex invests strongly in research and development. Another example of the company's innovative spirit is the development of full metal sensors. These sensors are virtually indestructible due to their strong housing. Today, the range comprises around 8,000 products. Peter Heimlicher made an early decision to expand abroad, thereby aligning the company's cost structure with that of its international competition. The company now operates production facilities in Switzerland, Hungary, China and Brazil and sells its products in over 60 countries. Exports account for about 97%. In autumn 2012, Annette Heimlicher, the daughter of the founder, took over operational responsibility as CEO and set ambitious goals for the future. Countrynex ensures its long-term success by a consistent orientation towards future markets, new innovative products, and a focused export strategy.